Yeah. Yeah, I mean I I wrote about this a lot in my book actually because when I did when I did lose a large amount of weight the the amount of people saying, "Oh, you look you look great" or "What have you done? You look amazing." And you're like, "Well, what are you all thinking about me before before I did this and you don't know you don't know what's going on." And then also, you know, conversely people saying, "What's wrong? Are you ill?" It's just like I don't know where this thing has come from that people feel like they're allowed to comment on on people's bodies and weight change but it's really it's really depressing if you're on the other end of it and i do agree that quite often people think it's easier with men because they think we don't care about that or or that our weight is somehow just there for uh banter and i think you know you can lay a lot of the blame for that culture at back at men's doors uh because the the whole uh the culture of you know banter and making fun of your friends and all of that sort of stuff has contributed massively towards that but i don't think men talk about it very much um but yeah i'd, I'd agree that the, the people's reactions to the way people's bodies change is is absolutely insane sometimes and i say in the book it's best to just um shut up yeah, <laughs> and realize not- it doesn't it doesn't matter but it's also funny because I think it also really plays into, or especially from my experience, like it kind of became a bit of a psyche thing in a way that it hadn't before. So I would put on weight at university. I'd then lost a fair bit of it after university and people were coming in with these comments. But then it meant when obviously as, as you become older and you gradually put on a tiny bit of weight or it's easier to put on weight yeah. without realising, I then thought it it almost made it a thing for me because I then became obsessed with, oh, well, now people have made that comment the other way. Yeah. Do they now think I'm much bigger? And it became a thing of self-worth almost. Yeah, it's when you worry that people, other, if other people have made that comment, you have it confirmed to yourself that other people are noticing your weight and they're thinking about it. So any changes in weight then then make you think, well, what are they thinking about this? And it's just not, it's not a path worth going down. Um, mm. Yeah, like I, I, I lost, I lost a lot of weight after university, like I say. And I didn't care when I was bigger. I really didn't care about about my weight. I just, which is so converse to a lot of people's thoughts about people who are overweight in inverted commas. You know, that that we were worrying about it all the time, but absolutely not. And then and then as soon as I lost weight, and people went, "Oh my god, you've lost weight!" And then and that's when I started to get worried about how I looked. Yeah, totally. As soon as people started saying I looked nice, that's when I started to worry about it and putting weight on and stuff. So yeah, and I. I think in some ways for me, it actually propelled it even more. Like, I think I was quite happy with where I was at, which was you know, a very normal side. I'm really tall as well. So yeah, I've yeah. always found it difficult because I'm five foot ten. So if someone who's five foot four or the average size of a woman is a five foot four, five foot five, if they're a, a small, that's never, that was never going to be me and it never will, regardless yeah. of if yeah, I'm yeah. a healthy weight or not. But I suddenly became aware, you know, I'd, I'd hit quite a healthy weight and then I thought, should I should I keep going with this? You know, if, yeah, if yeah. people are saying it looks so good, bizarre. Yeah, it's bizarre, and I I, I think culturally it's a, it's a it's an odd thing as well because you know, as you said, culture's obsessed with uh, thinness and people being slim, but also culture's obsessed with look at the size of this burger and uh, you know yeah. let's let's all eat you know all the food that's thrown to us is the sort of stuff that's not necessarily nutritious. So there's such a imbalance there and with the way men look i mean literally within my lifetime the the ideal body shape for a man has gone from uh skinny waif uh like naughty's indie guy to now all i get shown on my instagram algorithm is gigantic gigantic men so it's all it's all about putting on as much muscle and weight as possible and cramming yourself into a tiny t-shirt so we're never going to win so we've just got to do what feels good for us and try you, not to worry about what other people think. Well, I think that's it because it changes and it, it's become, it's so horrible to say, but bodies are fashionable and, and yeah, you can't, yeah, yeah. you're never going to win, you know. Um, have you heard about that thing in America? My flatmate was telling me about it yesterday that like loads of celebs are doing it where they're using the drug, sorry, because I know you're diabetic, they're using that drug for diabetics. Yeah, as Zempic, yeah. To suppress appetite. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know why the the fashionable thing these days seems to be let's all use things for diabetics to uh, monitor our weight and uh, and our body health. But there's a Zempic, there's this Zoe thing as well, which I mean, 
drives me up the wall because they're basically managing their blood sugar levels and going, oh, look, this food actually spikes my blood sugar level. It's like, well, yeah, I could have told you that. Just go and ask any nutritionist. Turns out if you eat a punnet of grapes, it's going to spike your blood sugar levels. But you don't need to worry about that because you've got a working pancreas. <laughs> like, so I just think this ultra focus on on the scientific things your body are doing is just another way of putting people on edge the whole time about what they're eating and how they're living their lives. And it, it drives me yeah. a bit mad. Well, they're hiding it behind wellness. Like, it's funny you say that yeah, because yeah. my boyfriend's a doctor. Yeah. And I said to him, we were on holiday and a woman had a like a circle thing on the back of her arm. Yeah. And I said to him, what, what's that for? And he said, oh, she's probably diabetic and it's yeah. to monitor her blood sugar. But then suddenly in the gym, I'm saying, oh, there's so many more diabetic people than I realised. Yeah. And then I realised it's one of these app things and yeah I thought, for goodness sake come on guys yeah i i mean i don't know why i mean it's so stressful being type 1 diabetic i don't know why people have decided to take some of that uh, burden on themselves despite having a fully working pancreas but i just think it's a bit mad but there you go i'm on a, i'm on a lifelong mission to bring that company down so we'll see if it works <laughs> okay.